Hey, I'm Nick Williams, the Medicare Millionaire, and uh, in this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about when it may make sense that someone would, that is financially able to purchase a Medicare supplement would instead purchase a Medicare Advantage plan. Now, we all know that when somebody, that one reason people will purchase a Medicare Advantage plan is because it's zero premium, and when people have no money, they will purchase that plan uh, because they're broke and it's zero premium and uh, it offers all the the uh, the gym and the and the dental and heck they even have the grocery card where you can now I know Humana has that where you can go to the grocery store uh, and um, use the card the Humana card and buy groceries that's wonderful for somebody that doesn't have much money but what about when somebody does have money and and I'm gonna give you an example with actual dollar amounts. I've rounded them off for simplicity's sake. And, but they have uh, they have money, but they're they're going to but it will make sense for them to purchase a Medicare Advantage plan anyhow. At li and this is a consumer decision, not an agent's decision. I would never say as an agent, you should try to talk somebody into buying a Medicare Advantage plan who has a Medicare supplement already, or or has a, is making a decision. In other words, you shouldn't put undue pressure on them to purchase a Medicare Advantage plan when they're financially capable of doing the alternative. So in this example, the, there was an agent, I spoke to him yesterday, and he's a friend of mine, uh, and uh, he had he has a client who is a personal friend of his. That client is paying $300 a month for his for his Medicare, uh, Medicare supplement. He just got his bill, his renewal, and it's going to $300 a month. In addition, he's paying $45 for his drug card. So that's $345. That's a lot of money. So, and, and meanwhile, he's looking, watching the television, he's seeing these commercials about these zero, zero premium plans. And with the zero, with the dental and the drug card uh, included and all this other stuff. And, and, and he inquires to my friend, his agent, uh, what is, uh, what about this? And uh, so, the agent explains it to him how it works, and it just so happens that that there's a plan in that in that county that is increasing its rebate to ninety dollars. Now that's the Part B rebate, and when I say increasing it to ninety dollars, they're currently at like sixty dollars. Uh, they're increasing it to ninety dollars. That means that there will be ninety dollars, a ninety dollar reduction in the Social Security uh, Part B. Medicare premium deduction from the Social Security check. So what they will experience, the consumer, is that their, their Social Security check will go up by $90 a month, and that means $1,080 a year. I think that's the math there. Uh, now, if you add that, that to the, okay, it, the swing, the difference between the Medicare supplement, the $345, for the supplement and the drug card, and you compare that to the going to this other plan with the $90 rebate, that's a $5,220 swing out of the gate. That's how much they save. If they were to use no health care, they would save $5,220. Thereabouts. Or, you know, those are the numbers, that's exactly what it would be. Not thereabouts, that's what they would they would save. So they will use some benefits and you can't deny that with Medicare Advantage, there's co-pays, co-insurance and deductibles on those plans. Uh, so that is a consideration. You can't deny that there's networks and you can't deny that uh, those plans can change. That's a big deal that the plans can change on your client. But here's the thing, they just get, been getting better and better recently and the networks are strong as death. These networks are very, very strong on these Medicare Advantage plans. Uh, they have national networks. They have, they have international coverage on some of these Medicare Advantage plans. They're just getting very, very strong, and they're gaining market share. So, and you'll have I have 
Okay, I want to I go back to these numbers in that particular instance because that's a good example. And But I had a client that, that uh, referred me to, it was a woman, she referred me to her brother. I went to his home. He and his wife had Mutual of Omaha Medicare supplements and Humana drug cards. And they wanted that the Humana Gold Plus Medicare Advantage plan because that's what their sister had who was my client. And it worked well for her. This guy was wealthy. He had the lake house going. He had a business that he owned a property that was adjacent to his property. Uh, and and that, that was a uh, business that his son now ran, but he sat back and just collected money off the business. So this guy was no slouch and he just did the math. They've had that plan for about five years, both he and his wife. And here's the interesting thing in that situation. When I went to their home, and sat down with them at the kitchen table, husband, wife. I, I, I looked at what they had. I immediately went to a better, lower price Medicare supplement. They had been in this mutual phone Omaha plan for several years uh, and it had gone up quite a bit. And I was going to save them like, oh, better than $50 each on their Medicare supplements by moving them to a Cigna plan at the time that was a you know, uh, and they still are good, a good, a, a extremely competitively priced plan in, in that geographic area. So they, uh, they, t they acted, the husband, he basically took the tone with me, like, why are you trying to steer me into this other Medicare supplement? I want the Humana plan. It was the Humana Gold Plus Medicare Advantage plan. And, and he was basically thinking that I was, I was just trying to help him. But no, he made a decision. He was a businessman. He made a decision. And uh, to him, it made sense. And that's all there was to it. So again, five years later, it's worked out well for him. And he and his wife, they've made out like bandits because they're healthy. Uh, so it does make sense. Uh, let's see. In a situation like I described where it was the $345 that the person was paying for their Medicare supplement and drug card plus a $90 swing, that uh, that's $5,220. If somebody were making $35,000 a year in retirement income, that would represent 15% of their income, uh, approximately 15% of their income spent on, on health care. That's a lot of money. Uh, that's a good percentage of their income. And um, the guy's healthy and he's like, well, I'm gonna save $5,000 a year. If I can get two or three good years uh, under my belt, then I'm 10, $15,000 ahead of the game. You know, so of course he could develop a medical condition and get burned, you know, um, but even then, Max out of pocket. Some of these plans they have max out of pocket of like thirty four hundred dollars. So, and what's the chance he's going to get burned every year, year after year after year? It's kind of slim. Most people, I believe, it's less than five percent of all Medicare beneficiaries max out their uh, their MOOP or their max out of pocket for or Medicare Advantage plans. So that's a that's a bit that is a business decision. And see, a lot of agents, there, and there's a reason for this video. One is that it can make sense. Again, if you don't get stuck on the networks um, or the plan potential changes. Uh, and again, the networks are strong. So what's to get stuck on? You know, that's it, it should work just fine. And, um, but the, uh, so the other reason for making the video is that, Medicare Advantage is gaining market share. And you know, you need to be you need to be prepared. So think about it. They're at 35, 40%, but they're gaining market share. So 35 to 40 percent of Medicare beneficiaries have Medicare Advantage. They're gaining market share. Now, and, and your best plan that the most comprehensive coverage that a uh, Medicare supplement can have now is the plan G, which covers everything except the Part B deductible. That's $198. What if that goes to $298? What if it goes to $398? What if it goes to $500? And somebody's buying a Medicare Advantage, looking at a Medicare Advantage plan that costs zero premium, or, or, they're, or they're a couple years into their med sup and they're at $300 a month, 
and they're saying, oh goodness, I go to the doctor, I'm healthy, I go to the doctor a couple times a year, I can't even use my plan. See, it's, it's, it's not that these the consumer is always rational. The insur they they okay. You think insurance is for the big things. The small costs are, are really not why you have insurance. It's for the big costs. But your consumer looks at first dollar. So they will purchase a plan based on whether it's a five dollar copay for the doctor or a zero copay for the doctor for the, their primary care doctor. They'll say, "Well, I'll go with that zero plan." They don't. A lot of them won't even look at anything else, and it's crazy for five dollars to make a decision. And and it may be the wrong decision because on the back end, the other plan might be horrendous. But they'll make that decision on first dollar coverage because. That's that's all that matters to them. I don't have to pay five dollars every time I go to the doctor. This one's free, you know, and and that's their decision is made. So it's uh, don't think that consumers are thinking this stuff through logically from A to Z and making an informed decision. Again, I would never tell somebody, I would never coerce somebody into going into a Medicare Advantage plan when they are uh, a Medicare supplement buyer or currently have a Medicare supplement. But um, but at the, at the same time, be prepared. Have the ability to sell Medicare Advantage even if it's not something that you're selling today because it may be something you need tomorrow. And one last thing, subscribe to Medicare Millionaire. We need to reach more people, give them the good information and uh, expand our reach. And I appreciate that. And like our videos. Talk to you later.